Hi everyone, I hope you're doing great. My name is Tawid Fahim. I'm a self-taught artist based in the Lower Mainland. Ever since I was a boy, I have had a huge passion for art. I grew up with a stutter and that had a big impact on my love affair with art. The fact that you could convey so much without saying a single word has always intrigued me. I experimented with the various media and stumbled upon calligraphy. For the past 15 years, my love for calligraphy has only grown, especially as a tool for promoting diversity and inclusion. Currently, I plan to further my education by learning traditional Arabic calligraphy from a calligraphy master. Today, I wanted to share a time lapse of myself writing three words, resistance, freedom, and justice in my own freestyle calligraphy. I'll be writing the words in both English and Arabic, and I hope you guys really enjoy it. The first thing I normally do is create a grid on a separate sheet of paper. The purpose of this is to help keep my lines straight and my work clean. Today I'll be using 80 pound semi-gloss paper, which is a bit different than your regular 20 pound printing paper. If you were to erase pencil off this paper, it would leave marks behind. Um, the pens we'll be using were actually a gift that um, a good friend of mine brought over from Dubai last year. If you notice, all the pens will have a chisel tip. Traditionally, Arabic calligraphy is written with a bamboo or like a reed pen, which is a cut at an angle of 40 or 35 degrees. And it's pretty much similar to how a chisel tip looks. Growing up, I had to resist myself from listening to the people around me and what they were t telling me. I was always told that art was a waste of time and it wasn't going to help me get anywhere in life. And I really had to fight with myself and fight with the people around me and show them that I'm going to stick with my art regardless of whatever you say. Is And I'm not going to let this go. And today, because I stuck with my art, I stuck with my passion, I stuck with my calligraphy, I've been able to grow so much as a person and as an artist. When a person speaks, they can say about 150 words per minute. But when they think, they can think and process approximately 800 words per minute. Growing up, because of my stutter, I would spend so much time on my own and I would refrain from talking to others just for the fact that they would laugh at me sometimes. So because I spent so much time on my own, I just kept on thinking and thinking and thinking constantly. And slowly, I just got lost in my own thoughts and the waves of emotions that would flow through my mind. I would just be consumed by it, but that overwhelming feeling slowly faded away once calligraphy came into the picture and my art came into the picture because when I would draw or I would paint, I would write calligraphy, I would have to slow things down, slow my thoughts and just focus and concentrate on what's going on right now, present, in the moment. I would never have been able to learn that skill if it wasn't for calligraphy. And I know a lot of people, they spend their whole entire lives always having that buzzing going on in their head. And I'm lucky enough to have found uh, my cure, calligraphy. Freedom is something that everybody wants. But as an artist, I never really saw any growth in my art until I put certain parameters up and forced myself to focus and concentrate. Once I found calligraphy, I just fell in love with it. Um, I just wanted to learn more and more, but unfortunately at that time, 20 years ago, there was no one there to teach me, hence why I'm a self-taught artist. I really liked uh, English calligraphy, written in the Turkish style. When you look at the work, the lines have so much fluidity and freedom that create these lavish forms. The flourishing used in the style honestly has like no limits. It all depends on the artist, the words they use, 
and what they're trying to depict inside their art. But the end result is all about how you can bring all the pieces you're trying to put on the page together. I remember when I was trying to teach myself Arabic calligraphy, I, count, I spent countless hours researching different artists and just looking at their work, but really help, But what really helped me learn um, Arabic calligraphy was reading the Qur'an in Arabic. I would sit there and I would just look at the letters and just imagine how the pen would have to move to make all those angles and curves and I would just be astonished by the crisp lines and the consistency of each one. Sometimes I didn't have any pen so I would just run my fingers and in the air and I would just imagine how the ink would flow. Later on I found out that the whole Quran is actually written by hand cover to, co to cover and there's a family desi designated to write it. Justice is a very interesting word to me because when I think of calligraphy, there is a bar of excellence already set, which is a level of perfection. And it doesn't matter how much I try or how hard I try, I'll never be able to attain that level of perfection, which indirectly means I'll never be able to do justice to the art. But looking back and thinking about this, there are people who have spent their whole entire lives and dedicated everything to this craft and when I mean they've dedicated everything they didn't just become great calligraphers they were great people as well and all I want to do is become a fraction of how good they were I don't really practice calligraphy to become a perfect calligrapher but I practice and learn just so I can become a better person first. And there are so many lessons I'm able to grab from calligraphy. I feel the better person I become, the better my calligraphy becomes. Because before you can produce beauty, you need to become beautiful first. And when I mean become beautiful, I'm referring to character, beautifying your character. Therefore, when I practice calligraphy, I'm not just practicing motions and movements. I'm practicing patience. I'm practicing attention and care. I'm practicing how to be in the moment and being present. And I'm practicing and exercising the ability to be respectful and committed right to the end.